Welcome to Shotty Family Reunion. Yo guys, it's Shotgun, and today we're gonna be making a loop in the style of Don Tolliver. Uh, his album Life of Don dropped the uh, 8th of October, and I'm gonna just make something in that style. So let me just get straight in the video with you, and um, make sure you follow my Instagram at 48 Shotty. Uh, I post a lot in there, and um. You know, you can just keep up with what I'm doing. Let's get right in the video. So, this loop looks pretty complicated. There's a lot of layers, but the layers ultimately are really simple. So, I started with uh, my guitar layers, which sound like this together. And with effects, um, a lot of EQ and reverb, and I always uh, have the bus always with the wolf compressor on it and a stereo imager. But that's all of, that's just the guitar and all the effects, pretty simple. And then I added a bass underneath it, looks like this. Then I added a, a lead, well, it's a bell, it's literally just a bell to be honest, and this is how this sounds. With effects, reverb, frame control, EQ. And pancake to get all that crazy panning. Trying to add to this accent that sounds like this. For effects, it's just a reverb. Then I went into my part P, which this is where things get a bit more complicated. So I went on splice and I found this uh, vocal that sounds like this. And for effects, I got a wolf compressor on it, some vintage verb, an EQ, and pancake. I turned the mix down to 40% on the pancake. And then I got my main guitar chords, these chords here, and I just pitched them down and I chopped up. I put it on crossfeed and chopped it out like this. So it gives it a bit of a tremolo effect. On top of it, I added reverb, EQ, Tone control and trim control, and this is what that sounds like. Then I went to Denology, which is a really fire plugin, and uh, I got this uh, preset, it's like a it's like an electric piano and I put laid down these cards and this is how this sounds. And you see these notes that are really close to each other, they create a lot of tension. So that's the reasoning behind that. And for effects, the reverb, an EQ, and a pretty delay. And then I layered it with another E piano, but this one's more harsh, it's more like a bell than a smooth pad piano. That's how this sounds. And for effects, both compressor, vintage verb, and an EQ like that. It looks really extreme, but it works. 
Then I added this lead again from Xenology, sounds like this. And just a reverb, an EQ, and a stereo imager like that. And then I added, it's uh, like a brass, it's like a bass, but not really at the same time. I'll just show you how it sounds so you get an idea. And that's just got an EQ on it and just stereo imager. But on the EQ, I cut down all the really lows so it doesn't clash with my actual bass. Then I have the same uh, bell from before. I just pitched it up an octave and I just have some accents. Then I got these accents here that are different. What I actually done is I recorded out this uh, lead and I reversed it. I placed it here and I after I reversed it I added some effects and the effects are Valhalla Vintage Verb and EQ like this. I'm cutting out the harsh frequencies and put, boosting up the frequencies I like and a stereo imager and I made it more central so it's more in your face. That's really it and you can really hear the, the pads come together just these accents without the guitar. It's really something you'd hear on a Dawn album. It's epic, it's got a big sound to it. That's the whole point. That's why you can see that I've done a lot of panning, even if it's the element of panning. And the end it has a big difference because you're really separating the sounds. And then after all of that, I really just arranged it in a way I liked it. So, you know, I just had different parts. So I've got my A part with the guitar and just the bass. And then I have the really epic part with the lead. And then guitar again, guitar with the vocals. And then guitar again, as you can see here. I cut the Xenology pad in a way that it comes in different, so you can hear that last sounds. It really accents that um, chord change, and I wanted to accent that chord change because it sounds really nice and really smooth, and I just wanted to accent it more, so I accent it with the lead. And then here, I've done something different for my last part. I have just the guitar. And I got the reverse lead and I chopped it up. So it plays like this. And I then done some automation. It's just volume automation. And this is how this last part sounds. And I just recorded it out, and um, after I recorded it out, I added wow control and an EQ, and I also pushed up three, and my final samples ends up, and then my final sample ends up sounding like this. Mm -hmm. 